Welcome back to the Arc Menard series, Digital Platforms. We have Taylor Reimer joining us. Taylor is making her Arc Menard series platform debut on the Springfield Dirt Mile at the Illinois State Fairgrounds on Sunday, August 20th. A very exciting time for Taylor. Taylor, thank you for joining us. I'm sure you're pretty excited for this weekend. Yeah, thank you guys for having me. With this opportunity of mine, like how are you personally feeling heading into the race at Springfield on Sunday? Yeah, um, I, I feel really good about it and I'm super grateful for the opportunity to run for a top team, um, you know, like Venturini Motorsports and I'm a little nervous, but um, you know, that's typical and um, this, this is going to be my first stock car race. So, um, you know, just going into it with an open mind and I got the chance to test the late model a couple times. So, um, you know, just to kind of get the feeling of being in a bigger car compared to a midget, which is a lot smaller and just kind of like going through, um, you know, restarts and practicing shifting and everything like that. But I'm confident in the team that I'm with and I know they're gonna give me a really fast car and, um, you know, looking forward to getting after it. What kind of difference are you are you expecting in an ARCA car, and particularly an ARCA race compared to what you normally run in midgets? Yeah, I mean, obviously the biggest difference is ARCA car is so much bigger than a midget. But, um, you know, besides that, I think um, with the midget, we drive a lot more sideways and, you know, with our right rear, whereas, um, you know, in a stock car, uh, I think everything's kind of slowed down. Movements are slowed down, um, you know, wheel input. We won't use as much wheel input as I would um, in a dirt car. With Springfield being like a larger dirt track compared to what you normally run at, like how, how are you approaching this race in particular? Yeah, this will definitely be um, the biggest track I've ever ran on. But, um, you know, I, I think it'll be honestly beneficial just because whenever you're dirt racing, we're kind of on smaller bullring style tracks and everything's kind of moving at such a fast pace and you have to make decisions so quickly. So it'll be helpful that I'll be on, you know, a bigger track and I'll have those straightaway to kind of you know get my mind right and um i feel like it's gonna sort of feel like i'm driving in slow motion just compared to what i'm used to one good thing for you this weekend is that your teammates um they have a lot of dirt experience as well so what are some ways that you're all leaning on each other to help each other out ahead of sunday afternoon i actually haven't gotten an opportunity to talk to um you know my, my teammates that i'm driving with but I have um, gotten to talk to Corey Heim, who um, is the previous winner at Springfield, and I'm friends with him. So um, he was able to give me some insight, you know, on kind of what to expect and give me the rundown of, you know, how the race will sort of play out. What insight did he give you? Just kind of like how the car handles going into the corner, how it's, um, you're going to be driving a lot more straight than you would in a midget and um, you know you're kind of using front of the car whereas like in a midget you kind of like pitch it into the corner and get it more sideways um, and with the ARCA car I'll be driving it you know a lot more straight and a lot smoother on the wheel. And since this is your first ARCA star and you're expecting things going a little more slow motion compared to what you normally run with midgets um, what are some personal goals that you're looking to accomplish at Springfield on Sunday? I didn't want to put you know on uh, a number on where I expect to finish or anything like that just with it being my first stock car race but um, you know I definitely have goals and um, with it being with being such a good team, I know that we can perform well. You know, obviously the first thing is just finishing the 100 laps. I think that's a big thing with, um, you know, midgets. Our features are typically only like 30 laps. So 100 laps is um, definitely going to be, you know, kind of a, a long run compared to I'm used to those short runs. But, um, you know, other than that, just having good speed and good car control. 